everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Killmonger and Beast in the arena. Uh, this is round one, and we're going to take a look at the leaderboards and see if we recognize any names. Neither one of these champions are um, very hyped, I would say. So I expect low scores all around. I don't know uh, what the cutoffs actually were yet. No one has uh, communicated them to me, um, but I expect them to be pretty low. Now, as you can see here, I haven't even finished the uh, Catalyst Clash Alpha. I got two hours left, so I got plenty of time to do it, um, finish it up. And uh, I also need to eat. Uh, I've been cranking out some videos trying to catch up on the content. Uh, so I got some war videos coming out this week for you guys. Um, I got uh, some Eternity of Pain uh, videos uh, that I hadn't gotten out uh, in time that's going to be coming out. Uh, and then we'll see what else I can uh, crank out. But anyway, uh, this time I put just a little bit more uh, over the milestones to see if I could get the 11 to 30 percent, which probably wasn't too necessary because, like I said, I think the scores were going to be pretty low. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, so I got 11 to 30 percent for Beast, and I got 11 to 30 percent for Killmonger. That's pretty much what I get. I go for these days. Um, there's better sources of six star shards than the arena, but this is still the main source for my units. So I want to uh, continue to do that. All right. So you can see I just put in like 200,000 more. Big Muppet. Ho There's one Doc Holiday. Rank three. Nice, nice. Agent Lemon. We will see the Lemonades. Bad boy. Hanzo. Let's see we up. Yup. There's the Lemonades. Papa Lemon. What else we got here? Madman. Yeah, Madman, congratulations. Yep, there's another pop of lemon, lemonade. Lemonade, that cool, refreshing drink. Face him, <laughs> make him look. What? Don't ask why. Try but dry. Let's see, what else we got? Nebuchadnezzar. Man, I always remember... Uh, a lady that used to work with us, my, my grandmother kind of um, adopted her. She had nowhere to go. Uh, Dijon, I see you. Um, and so she lived with us uh, for a while while we were young. Uh, so she was kind of like our big sister, sort of, you know. And uh, she had a, a kind of a speech impediment. And she, you know, we, we, we kids, you know. And so, of course, you know, when she would mispronounce things, we would, of course, just crack up. You know, we were young, young, you know. And she would never pronounce Nebuchadnezzar correctly. She would always say Nebuchadnezzar. And it would just crack us up. But uh, we loved her. I, I just saw her. Um, a picture of her. Uh, she still lives in New York. And um, we stay in touch. She's like married now. Well, she's not married right now, but she was married. Got a grown kid, you know, all that good stuff. All right. Um, that is the top 100. Let us see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Oh, what is that? Doc Dula? Is that supposed to be Dr. Doolittle? Okay. Let's see. If you heard a Windows ding, that was the video that I was encoding. It just finished. And that's the um, Eternity of Pain um, Nick Fury one. <laughs> Bipolar Bear. I don't know why. I, I just think that name is kind of clever. It is. It is kind of clever. Sub-Zero. Quantum Nucleus. Okay. Also clever. Here's another Lemonade. House of Pain. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Lecherous Monk. Interesting. No comments. 
Kurosaki. Oh, where do I know that name from? Kurosaki. I know that name. It's probably not good. Uh, I be telling on myself. I, I, I watched all kinds of things early on. I don't watch them no more. So a lot of stuff I'll be like, ooh, I remember that name. And they'll be like, so you watched that, did you? And I'll be like, oops. <laughs> but yeah, no, don't do it anymore. But when I was younger, what could I say? Learn, learn, learn. Nimgod, there you go. Hans Christian Andersen. Wonder if any of y'all even remember him. All right, so that's it for that leaderboard. Let's switch on over to Killmonger. And I gotta admit, I don't know if you guys have already seen it. I'm not gonna put any spoilers. Uh, not the new Wakanda uh, Forever one, the first one, Black Panther. Killmonger was my favorite villain in that movie. I mean, wow. I have to admit, I did a good job of making the villain not just black and white, you know, not one dimensional, you know, and it was excellent. It was excellent. All right. Let's see who went for this uh, Hambone, uh, went for this uh, Killmonger. All right. Oh, House of Pain over here, too. Well, like I said, they probably went pretty low, so not surprised uh, folks were double dipping. There's Fasim again. Fat Skadoosh, I saw you in the other one too. I think I saw Tex Mex over there too. So yeah, a lot of people seem to uh, have double dipped. Yep, Nim God. So people were picking up six star and the five star, you know? ID Slim, congratulations, man. Let's see, Spider Magus. I remember that name. I don't know who that is, though. Thanatos, of course. I see him on the leaderboards. Better like next time I saw him on the leaderboards before. Some names just, you know. Now, what is that? Is that really, does that really say need weed? Really? You don't need it, man. All right. Oh, there's Little Doc Holiday. Hello. Hello, Little Doc Holiday. Let's see. Majet, wait. Majet, get C? Hmm. For a second, I read that. And it reminded me of a um, a function uh, call in a C++ or, or C or uh, it's probably in both of them. To uh, I believe it was a uh, to get a character, a single character. But anyway, whoops. Well, let's see who is Mister or Mrs. One Hundred and One. And I can't read the name anyway. Uh, that happens when I start thinking about programming and, and my mind just went right on over there. I started thinking about code and I started seeing the code and I was no longer even seeing this. So if I missed your name, that's why. Leave a comment. Let me know. And I'll hit you up there. Let's see what we got. Harimata. Par Parzival? I feel like I should know that. Evil Kniva. What else we got? Rain. Cute, cute. Fatality. For some reason, I just think fatality. But someone probably already had that one. Or... I could be completely off base. Here's another lemonade. Make them look. Mm-hmm. Double dipping, double dipping. 
They ain't mad at you. Build that roster up, y'all. It's funny because now with uh, Battlegrounds, I see a lot of people um, looking at champions they hadn't looked at before because they make good Battlegrounds um, defenders and possibly attackers as well. So I think that was part of what uh, Kabam did. Now, I don't know about uh, Beast, but Killmonger, I could see people going for him uh, for Battlegrounds because, you know, rank him up. I, I would not like to fight a rank four fully awakened, sigged up Killmonger in Battlegrounds. That don't sound like a fun time. Tell you that right now. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what your score was. Uh, maybe we can figure out what the cutoff is. If you have any information, leave a comment um, or hit me up on Discord. Uh, or if you already have my line uh, info, you can hit me up there too. I don't give that out. Um, I prefer if you hit me up on Discord uh, and give me a screenshot. Let me know what the uh, cutoff was. All right. So take care. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.